Hey there, anime fans. Welcome back to Otaku Recommends, your go-to destination for the best anime recommendations. Today, we have an exciting video lined up for you. We'll be counting down the top 10 anime where the main character is an overpowered demon lord. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest videos. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the list. Kicking off our list at number 10 is Maoyu, Archenemy, and Hero. The hero of this story finally found his way to the Dark Lady's castle after a long, adventurous journey. But there he was asked for help. There was a bit of conversation between the hero and the Queen of Demons regarding the war between humans and demons. The Demon Queen made the hero realize that if this war stops, then civil war will start among the humans. Finally, the hero thought the only way to bring peace and stop the war was to join forces with the Demon Queen. So he agreed to help her. At number 9, we have Endro. Naral Island is a place where the humans live with the monsters. It's a place full of swords and sorcery. A cruel demon king lives there too. A first-generation hero previously defeated the demon king in the past. Over the next generations, the demon king was again resurrected, and a hero to defeat him also appeared. Yusha possesses the body of a hero but is a bit absent-minded. This story is about four girls who continue to struggle to defeat the demon king. Coming in at number eight is Devils and Realists. William Twining, a 17-year-old genius boy, was bankrupt. One day, while looking for some money to pay for his tuition, he summoned a demon in his basement. The demon was Dan Talion and told William that he was the elector in hell. At first, William never believed it as he didn't believe in demons and all. From that point, Dantalion never left William's side and decides that he would make William the interim king of hell. Soon after this, William was involved in a war between heaven and hell, and through it, he learns of his family's ancient past. Number seven on our list is Ushio Totora. Ushio's father would always speak of an ancient ancestor who impales a demon on the temple stone with beast spear. But Ushio never believed them and thought that his father was crazy. But one day he finds out the demon is in his basement. To save his dear ones, Ushio released Tora from imprisonment. Now Ushio couldn't understand if releasing Tora was a worse mistake or not. Halfway through our list at number six is Devilman Crybaby. One day, Ryu Asuka tells his best friend Fudo Akira that soon the demon clan will revive and snatch away the peaceful life from the humans. Ryu thought that the only way to prevent it from happening was by becoming stronger than them. And to do that, he suggests fusing with a demon. Akira now becomes a devil man by fusing with a demon. He now has a heart of a human and the powers of a demon. At number five, we have Aono Exorcist. There are two distinct worlds, the Asaya where the humans lived and the Gehenna where the demons lived. Sometimes the demons would try and control the humans by possessing them. And those humans who can fight against these demons are known as exorcists. Our protagonist, Rin Okumura, who lives in the human world, finds out that he was Satan's illegitimate son. His foster father protected him from the grip of the demons, but now he too was killed. Rin promised that he would avenge his foster father's death, and now is on his way to becoming an exorcist. Coming in at number four is Welcome to Demon School, Iruma-kun. Iruma Suzuki is a 14-year-old boy who works hard to earn money for a living. Later, his parents sold him to a demon named Sullivan. Iruma thought that his life has come to an end, but Sullivan just wanted a grandchild for himself. Sullivan sent Iruma to attend the demon school Babbles. Sullivan was the chairman of Babbles and is the next candidate for Demon King. Now Iruma tries to conceal his appearance so that no one can find out that he is a human. At number three on our list, we have Demon Lord Retri. Akira Uno is a peculiar type of adult who can be found anywhere. One day he was pulled to a different world within the game. He was role-playing a character known as the Demon Lord with some extraordinary powers. In the different world, he met different other characters like a girl with a disabled leg. They started to go on their journey together hereafter. When everyone notices that he is the Demon Lord, many peoples as well as some countries target him. The saints of these places also tried to take him under control. Akira, due to his overwhelming power, causes disturbances everywhere he goes. 
Our runner-up at number two is Blood Lad. This story is about a vampire leader who has very less interest in the consumption of human blood. The vampire leader named Staz is the boss of a particular section within the vast demon world. Staz is more obsessed with human cultures, especially Japanese culture. One day, a girl named Yanagi Fuyumi, who is a Japanese, appeared in the demon world accidentally. Seeing this, Staz thought that he should get involved in it. But when Staz pays attention to an intruder who has paved his way into his turf, the Japanese girl was killed by a monster. Now Fuyumi became a wandering ghost. Staz was filled with guilt and promised himself that he would bring back Fuyumi to her life. And finally, at the top of our list, we have Nura Rise of the Yokai Clan Demon. The protagonist of this story is Nura Rikuo. He is a quarter demon along with three parts of a human. He lives with his grandfather in the House of Spirits. His grandfather is the current clan head of the Nura Yukai. And after him, Rikuo was set to be the new leader of the clan. Rikuo disliked his demon part, but ultimately manages to stay with it and decides to be the leader of the clan. But many others were opposed to the selection of the new leader, and so Rikuo was facing a tough time against them. So now it's time to end this list. Hope you guys like it. Please mention in the comments the anime series which you have liked the most. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow anime lovers, and if you haven't already, subscribe to Otaku Recommends for more awesome anime content. Until next time, stay powerful.